Jeffrey Epstein, the multimillionaire pleading not guilty to sex trafficking charges, while prosecutors say they made a disturbing discovery at his mansion. Our chief national affairs correspondent, Tom Yamas, is outside Epstein's townhouse here in New York with more. Good morning, Tom. Robin, good morning to you. Just behind me, this is Jeffrey Epstein's Manhattan mansion. Some call it one of the most expensive homes in all of New York. Federal agents call it a crime scene. They say when they busted through those doors, what they saw inside was consistent with what the alleged victims told them, that the assaults happened inside of a massage room. This, as some very powerful people, are now having to explain their relationship with Jeffrey Epstein, including Pr President Bill Clinton, who overnight released a statement. This morning, disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein is behind bars, but fighting to get out. Prosecutors arguing the politically connected multimillionaire should not be released on bail. When you have uh, two planes and you live much of the year abroad, uh, you know, we think that's a very real risk. The ultra wealthy money manager appearing in a blue jumpsuit in federal court on Monday pleading not guilty to charges that he trafficked dozens of underage girls at his massive Manhattan and Palm Beach mansions. Also this morning, new raid video showing federal agents as they bust open the door of his seven-story, $77 million home on Manhattan's Upper East Side. In a dramatic news conference on Monday, the U.S. attorney saying inside, investigators found hundreds, if not thousands, of female nude or partially nude photographs, some of the photos seeming to show underage girls. And inside of a locked safe, compact discs, one allegedly labeled Young Miscellaneous Nudes One, another titled Girl Picks Nude. The alleged behavior shocks the conscience. According to the indictment, from 2002 to 2005, Epstein recruited girls to engage in sex acts with him, after which he would give the victims hundreds of dollars in cash and paid some victims to recruit additional girls to be similarly abused. When you saw him, it, it just brought back bad memories? Yeah, it brought back the last time I saw him, which was right there at the massage table, and it just started making me feel uneasy, nervous. Michelle Licata and Courtney Wilde were in court to see Epstein face those charges. They both say the mega millionaire assaulted them. Wilde says she was only 14 at the time. We get to look him in the face today and see him, you know, in handcuffs. It was just nice to be able to share it with somebody, look at, you know, look at you and say, okay, Don't you today's our same. day. We were with her exclusively as she headed to court. Like just to hear that they're standing up for the victims, you know what I mean? It's just like so overwhelmingly, un it's past due. But both women fear Epstein, who pleaded not guilty, could beat this case. He's 66 years old, owns at least six homes and two private islands. In the past, he socialized with Prince Andrew and President Bill Clinton and Donald Trump. In a 2002 profile in New York Magazine, before any allegations surfaced, Trump called Epstein a, quote, terrific guy, adding, he's a lot of fun to be with. It is even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do, and many of them are on the younger side. In 2007, Epstein faced a potential federal indictment in Florida on similar charges. He struck a secret plea deal, serving just 13 months in county jail and registering as a sex offender. The U.S. attorney who authorized that deal, Alexander Acosta, now the Secretary of Labor. Now, as we mentioned earlier, President Bill Clinton released a statement overnight his office. We want to show you that statement right now. His office says in part, President Clinton knows nothing about the terrible crimes Jeffrey Epstein pleaded guilty to in Florida some years ago or those which he has been recently charged with in New York. In 2002 and 2003, President Clinton took a total of four trips on Jeffrey Epstein's airplane. Now, we should also mention this morning that Speaker Nancy Pelosi is now calling on Secretary Acosta to resign. George. Okay, Tom, thanks very much. A lot to dig into here. Let's bring in our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams, for more on this. Let's begin with the argument we're going to hear from Epstein and his lawyers. They reached an agreement back in 2008. This is a do over. Right. They basically had a deal, what's called a non prosecution agreement, from the federal government. And they're going to say, wait a sec, what happened to that deal uh, that we had? Now, the Southern District of New York's position is that was a deal with the prosecutors in Florida. We are not bound by that deal. 
And part two to that is that deal is also being litigated right now, meaning a judge is deciding whether to throw that deal out entirely because there was a violation of the law by prosecutors in Florida when they didn't inform the victims of what was happening. And so the question now becomes, should the remedy for that be that that entire non-prosecution agreement gets thrown out. And the Justice Department oversees both the district in New York and the district in Florida. The Attorney General, William Barr, has recused himself. Right. He has said uh, because he worked at a law firm that at one time represented Epstein, he's not going to be involved. And, and, and that is relevant only because you have this issue with these different districts, um, which makes it interesting because the person in charge then becomes that much more important. One of the big questions here is, is new evidence developed in part by what they've been taking from the mansion of Jeffrey Epstein here in New York? Oh, yeah. I mean, if they found more pictures with children, uh, if they found more evidence, that could be additional charges. We're not talking about just additional evidence in connection with this case. That could be more charges against Jeffrey Epstein. And remember, we talked about this before, the Public Corruption Unit of the Southern District of New York is investigating. One of the big questions, will he get bail? And I think the answer is maybe. It, bail is, you presume someone gets bail. Don't forget about that. The presumption is someone gets bail. But because A, he's got all this money, all these planes, these private islands, and has been accused of witness tampering in the past, those are very strong arguments against bail. Okay, Dan, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.